Hello, everyone. I'm Jin Zhang, the principal network architect at Time Research. Time Research is a priority trading firm uh, that has been active in crypto space since 2019. I'm the author and maintainer of DeepOff project, a high performance network load tester based on DBDK. Initially, DeepOff is designed to test the layer for load balancer uh, due to its high performance, uh, support HTTP protocol, connection tracking, and efficient packet loss detection. It can also test the firewalls, switches, and network interfaces. Some even use DeepOff as a high performance HTTP client and HTTP server for testing. Uh, today I will introduce how DeepOff is designed from the layer for load balancer testing. L4LB is uh, plays an important role at the data center is the traffic entrance and the huge traffic and connections, such as uh, hundreds of gigabit throughput, 10 millions of connections per second, 100 millions of concurrent connections. But how to test a 10 million CPS L4 LB, that's a big challenge. Usually we uh, use HTTP clients and uh, HTTP servers to set up the test environment. Uh, we have three kind of tools. First, corner-based tool, like AB, WRK, and NGX. The CPS is about 250K. Second, DBDK-based tool, like DREX. The CPS is about one to two million. Third, commercial tester. Uh, the CPS is also about one to two million. Compared with L4LB, this two, the performance of these two is still very low. We have to deploy tens of uh, instances for a test. That makes testing expensive and inconvenient. Uh, these tools mentioned about are called uh, Layer 7 tester. Uh, why the performance of the Layer 7 tester is so low, and why the performance of the L4 LB is so high? That's because L7 tester have a long and slow data pass. It has, um, it needs to do a lot of tasks, such as socket lookup, routing, packet allocation and free, memory copy, buffering, protocol parsing and retransmission. But L4LB have a very, very short and fast data pass. Uh, L4LB only need to do, uh, for each received packet, it only need to modify the header and forward the packet out. So L4LB is 10 to 100 times faster than a L7 test. How to shorten the data path of our L7 tester? That's the key to high performance. If uh, our HTTP message is constrained to fit within our MTU, we could consider each data packet as a complete HTTP message. Then we could bypass a lot of network stack processing. And we could also require the HTTP message is constant during testing. That network stack would be quite basic, but it would be highly suitable for uh, L4LB testing. Let's take a look at the of network stack. Uh, after receiving a packet, the of use an O1 algorithm to look up a socket, then it select up a data ca packet cache and pick up 
packet from the cache and update the headers, then send the packet out. Depot has three kind of packet. They are ACK packet, SIM packet, and data packet. Most part of the packet uh, is fixed. Only the red part need to be modified before sending. They are IP ID, TCP sequence, TCP uh, ACK sequence, and TCP flux. Uh, socket lookup optimization is the, the key to achieve high performance. Depot use socket table instead of hash table for socket storage and lookup. It can uh, locate a socket directly by IPs and ports. Depot socket only takes 64 bytes. Yes, 64 bytes. So the overall memory consumption is acceptable. Uh, Depot has multiple worker threads. Each worker thread bind a CPU and assigned with a RxQ and a TXQ. Traffic is distributed by FDIR or RSS, so each worker runs independently, and the performance can scale up. I use, I deploy the depot on two separate physical servers, one as a depot client, the other as at the depot server to test the performance. Uh, we can see in, um, in, in a one CPU core, depot can achieve two million CPS and 100 million concurrent connections and 16 million TX PPS. The performance is far exceeds L4LB, making it a great test. Depot was open sourced in December 2021. It's a Depot ecosystem project. You can find it at the uh, DPTK website. It got more than 3,000 GitHub stars. Many companies are using Depot to test their network devices. Contributions are welcome to make it better. Thank you. Thank you. Um, do we have any questions about Deeper? We have a little bit of time. Yeah, uh, which kind of configuration we can do? Uh, either either, fi either configure fire, you can use that configure fire. Uh, it's um, well documented. Okay. Yeah. At, the, uh, at the so we can we can change some payload. We can change some payload at some layers. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, yes, you can configure the payload. Okay. Payload size and uh, um, the speed. Packet PPS, configured PPS, and uh, uh, how many connections and the CPS. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. That's great. Something to be evaluated in UNH probably. Thanks. Thank you. Is it free to use, like free to download and use, or is there a pay to play kind of a thing? Oh, it's open sourced. Open source, free to use. Yeah, yeah, yes. Okay, awesome. Yes. Thank you for yes. doing it. Um, so there's a client side and a server side. Yes, like a commercial tester, it has a client side and a server side. Okay, so is 
the timing independent. My question is, if I if I use this to send uh, traffic through a shaper, will it work? Sorry. If I send, if I from the, if I put the server side on one side of my appliance, and the client side on the on the other side of the appliance, the test appliance I want to performance test, and this appliance is not forwarding packets. Uh, immediately, but it's a shaper, so it's queuing the packets and then waiting to send the packets. Uh, will, will the, can I use the tester for this appliance? Uh, okay, it is like um, uh, HTTP model request response. Each connection is this model. If, uh, uh, if client didn't uh, didn't uh, find the response, it will report a uh, packet loss. Okay, but if, if the response comes, let's say, 20 milliseconds later, is that okay? Uh, uh, the um, okay. server may retransmit the, retransmit the packet, and the client may uh, send a ACK That's that's a run a TCP stack. So so if if the client sends a packet, if and three, the, three it gets delayed, and then the server receives it, sends a response, and then it gets delayed, and then the client uh, receives it. It has three three second. Uh, if any side didn't receive the other side's data, it uh, may report uh, uh, packet, a packet loss. Okay, but if it's received the data later, may maybe 10 milliseconds later, is that okay? Or yeah, it's it, okay. It, it is okay. Okay, it's great. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, this is not a question, but uh, yesterday you had a comment uh, when we were talking about DTS. Um, what I wanted to say is, uh, in the DTS framework, we are creating a traffic generator abstract class. So you should be able to fit any um, traffic generators underneath it. Uh, I hope uh, we we can. I hope DeepPoff may uh, is helpful, and uh, we could um, maybe DeepPoff may provide. Them uh, more interface for configuration, more friendly. That is is more suitable for your case. Sure. Yeah. 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 It uh, would be it, good. It, it's very stable, and performance uh, is the best in the world. Sure. I can say. Sure. Yeah. Uh, if if you have time, you know, uh, take a look at the uh, traffic generator abstract class that we are putting in DTS framework, and see whether that uh, fits deeper. I I I I know some guys at Intel Shanghai they use Depof. They have used.